What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Vault Pro Scooters. My name is Austin and today you guys can see we're in the new studio. This is something that we have planned to do for the past seven months when we knew we were gonna be moving into this new building. Redoing the studio for custom builds and everything was on the agenda, but with moving an entire warehouse and also keeping a business running, it just got lost in the wind. But here we are, James, our original filmer, the one and only James is back. He, uh, he was on vacation for like a year. <laughs> he was on vacation for like a year, but he's back and uh, he had ideas and they came to life. Honestly, I couldn't be happier with the way it came out and this is the first video on the new set. So I hope you guys like it. And if you do like it, like the video, okay? That's how we do it here. Moving on, this is gonna be a new series that we're doing called What's New in Scootering? What's New in Scootering? I don't know if you can put that on the screen, but what's new in scootering? So previously we would do individual unboxing videos for a new product, but unfortunately we couldn't cover every product, but now we can. All right, so the first product in today's video is gonna be these Epic tri Trianon bars. I'm gonna go ahead and say Trianon bars because I don't know how to pronounce it. This is Epic's budget-friendly T-bar. If you guys are unaware, this bar here is only 50 bucks. It comes in chrome and black, and currently two sizes, 26.5 inches tall, which is 670 millimeters, and the second size is 28.4 inches tall, which is 720 millimeters. Both sizes do come 22.8 inches wide. They come with a pre-installed slit because Ethic is still promoting ICS-10, so they do have an ICS-10 Starnet pre-installed as well, but they do come with a bar sleeve, so if you wanna ride SES with these straight out of the box, you will be good to go, even though they do have a slit installed. They come in this matte black colorway that I have here, but they do also come in a chrome colorway. For 50 bucks, there isn't a lot of bars that come in this size, but also, I mean, quality. Ethic is always known for making high quality parts, so if you guys wanna pick up a pair of these, make sure you click the link down below and uh, get yourself a pair. All right, moving on, we do have two signature AO decks that just released. The first one, let's see if I can grab this. Bam. So this is the Timo Sturmlin signature deck. AO just released this a few days ago. It comes in a midnight blue or navy blue on silver colorway. A lot of the AO Sachem decks that have been coming out have the um, silver head tube, just like this one. Honestly, I think it's really cool. And just like the Derek Marsig deck, it has the silver sides along with deck ends. It does come in two sizes, uh, 5.3 wide by 22 or 23. So you uh, can get that extra inch if you want it. 22 and 23 is pretty much the favorite two lengths of street decks nowadays. If you guys wanna know more spec wise on the deck, make sure you guys click the link down below as well. Uh, it'll give you the full spec list, but super cool deck, another SIG deck by AO. The second deck that is released is honestly something that we've been waiting for a long time here at the vault. This is the Ruben Rodriguez signature deck. Ruben is not only a team rider for us, but he's also an employee and a friend. Ruben, his Honestly, been killing it, and this deck has been in the works for a long time, so we're super happy to finally see it here. So I could dive into all the specs of the deck, but there's nobody better to tell you than Ruben himself. So take it away, Ruben. All right, thanks, Austin, for that mention. Let's get into the deck. Starting off, this is the first 5.6 that AO has ever released. I specifically wanted 5.6 because it was one of the newer, wider sizes that any deck has ever been, and it's honestly a comfortable size. If you have ridden 5.5 and you want to try something new, 5.6 honestly makes a difference and it's pretty sick. And as well as the length, length was 22.5. First ever AO deck that's ever been 22.5. I wanted to try something new, a newer size. That 0.5 inches actually makes a huge difference for those, you know, manuals, nose manuals, any type of trick definitely makes a difference. The crook slash blunt plate head tube is flat end to end. Usually you'd see them tapered down this way on both sides. It's end to end, so it's definitely gonna be catching that whole ledge or rail that you happen to grind, you know? The head tube on this is 84 degrees, so this means that it's gonna be better for nose manuals. It also places your wheel better to lock in better for blunts, crooks, any type of grind that you're gonna be doing on this front blunt plate, it'll help you lock in better. Again, this is the first ever AO deck that's had that dimension, so. I'm pretty happy on that. Going back to the dropouts, this is the first time AO decks ever had round dropouts other than the Derek and Timo. Their dropouts are actually different than mine. Mine stay essentially inside the deck, but the bottoms are just rounded out. So this way, as you're making contact with grinds, over time, it'll flushly grind to become one piece. 
therefore making your grinds a lot more smoother and a lot more consistent. Another sick thing about the deck is that at the bottom, usually there's a gap between the deck and the wheel. For this deck, we had the deck come all the way flush to the sides of the wheel, five O's, feebles. You'll be making full contact with the wheel, making that lock in perfectly, giving you max grind space, which is really sick. It is compatible with wide wheels and 125 wheels. I like riding wide wheels. I recently just put on a pair and I honestly like it a lot better than like 110s by 24. So if you guys like wide wheels, this will definitely, you know, accommodate your guys' riding style. You might have to make minor adjustments if you have 30 mils, I believe, or any wider set of wheels. You might have to just grind down the bearing spacer or the spacer by a little bit, but any wide wheel ride out there, this definitely accommodates your guys' riding style. And another thing is, this is the first ever AO deck that's had a flat bottom. This way you're making full contact with any grind. This way it's making it a lot smoother and a lot flusher. Yeah, and I'm just really happy that this was a possibility to be on my deck, you know? A flat bottom is really sick and it makes a big difference. And finally, let's just dive into the graphic. I honestly did a rough sketch of this from like the car and maybe a little bit of the Grim Reaper in the back, but I did have my good friend Louis V who also did a lot of the designs for AO, he just basically brought my idea to life. I'm really grateful that Louis took the time to make all the adjustments that I wanted from the Grim Reaper to the TV sign, all the bats. He really made this a really sick graphic and I'm thankful for that. I'm really thankful for this, Louis. I'm thankful for AO for giving me this opportunity for this sick deck, you know. It's been a long time coming and I'm really thankful for that AO. So yeah guys, let's hand it off to Austin. All right, moving on, I do have a set of wheels here. I will open them up so you guys can see them. These are the Proto X Heligrip Signature Wheels. Uh, Proto and Heligrip teamed up together to pay tribute to the original Yak wheels. As you can see, the, the not only the pad printing on the core resembles a Yak wheel, but also the blue on orange, or blue on red, whatever you want to call it. I say this is orange, but people are saying it's red but it is to pay tribute to the original Yak Wheels. If you are an OG in scootering or you have ridden scooters for more than 10 years, you definitely know about Yak Wheels. They played a very heavy role in the uprising of scootering because there wasn't a lot of trick scooter wheels back in the day when everybody was riding Razor Pro models or Razor A or B models. So super cool to see Proto and Heligrip team together to bring something like this out. They are very limited. They might not even be in stock when this video is out, but that, I wasn't gonna let that stop me from at least showcasing them to you. We did promote these on Instagram when they came out. So if you guys aren't following us on Instagram, make sure you guys click the link down below and follow us if you wanna stay up to date with new product that we get. So if you do wanna pick up something that is limited edition, you can be the first one to know. And nothing has really changed when it comes to spec wise. They do come with Proto Murder Bearings, pre-installed of course. They come in a pack at two. 90 bucks a pair, but you're paying for the quality. Protos have been around for years and they are definitely some of the best wheels you can get on the market. Moving on to a new set of wheels. These are the Meta by Tilt Signature Wheels. These have been long awaited. Tilt has been teasing these for a long time. And if you guys are unaware of who Meta is, Meta is a company by Tilt that they wanted to create to really showcase and promote parts by riders for riders. So Till actually has a little paragraph here on their website about these wheels that I think really describes who Meta is, so I'm gonna read it for you guys. Meta is a reflection on scootering through what really matters, core riders, which is the perfect description of what Meta is. They wanna reward riders for being good and they couldn't do that through tilt so they did it through meta. The riders that are getting signature wheels are riders that definitely deserve them, that they want you to support and that's what they're doing. So these are the Luis Berrios signature wheels. I hope I got your name right, if I didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> but these are the black on teal colorway. That's the colorway he decided to go with. It's awesome, I love it. You can see it has his last name here along with some palm trees and stuff like that. This is the meta logo, I believe. I'm not too familiar, but that is the Meta logo. They are made by Tilt, so of course they're gonna share the same quality as Tilt wheels and stuff like that. They do come in a pair here, just like Tilt wheels do now. They come 110 by 24 millimeter, just like your traditional Tilt wheel, and they come sold in a pair for $80. You guys can pick up a pair here. If you guys wanna support core riders and support um, brands like Tilt or similar to Tilt, I highly recommend you guys picking up a set of these. You're not only supporting the brand, you're supporting the rider, so. Take that into account when picking up a set of these, okay? If you guys do follow us on Instagram or you stay up to date with the people that work here, you obviously know we don't just sell scooter parts. We have been breaking into the fingerboard scene briefly and we just got some affordable fingerboard completes by a pretty cool brand. I just wanted to showcase that a little bit for you guys today. Skull Fingerboards is an awesome brand. They make pretty cool completes. I'll show you guys some of these cool designs. 
This one's my favorite. It's a cheeseburger. This specific one I'm holding is 32 millimeters wide. However, they do have some like this one that comes 34 millimeters wide. These completes here are only $40, which is very affordable for um, a fingerboard complete. And uh, Josh Choi, who is like fingerboard god here, said that for 40 bucks, there's honestly not too many completes that can compete with this. So if you are looking to get your first fingerboard set up, highly recommend picking up one of these. If you guys wanna check out any of the other deck graphics, make sure you click the link down below and go to the whole catalog on our website that will showcase everything that they sell. Fingerboarding is blowing up and a lot of scooter riders tend to love it. So pick one up for yourself and see if it's for you, I guess. All right, and before I do get out of here, I gotta say thank you to Troy Castell on Instagram. He left this comment on the Instagram post for my last custom build. He says, this is why Austin went from always being second place to first place and then fire emoji. If you guys have been watching our channel for a long time and you did follow the Scooter Olympic series, my nickname was the king of second place. I think out of five or six videos, I got second place in like every single one. But it's really awesome to see Troy here showing some love, letting me know that I'm no longer the king of second place. I'm the king of first place when it comes to building custom builds. And I, I appreciate that. So make sure you guys are following us on Instagram and leaving comments on our photos because we read them. All right, so that has been the first episode of What's New in Scootering. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, thank you for bearing with me. Obviously, as we continue to do this series, we'll get better at it. If you guys have any recommendations on what you would like to see, drop a comment and make sure you like the video and subscribe, of course. My name is Ben Austin and I'll see you guys in another video.